Hey guys, it's Jessica, the Vegan Vixen. I am doing sort of a review, sort of an awesome styling video today. Um, first and foremost, I am like obsessed with this flower crown thing that's happening all over the place. I figured since Coachella is this weekend, second weekend of Coachella, I would feature this for those of you that are going, you lucky people. Um, yeah, so I got this at ASOS for $16. Awesome. It comes in like a, a more neutral version, but I'm not a neutral girl. I'm a go big or go home kind of girl. So I thought this would be perfect. And I am just like in love with it. It's a stretchy headband. It's not like one that you just wears like your standard headband. It's like the stretchy back. I'm not going to show you the back of my head because I'm sure it's not beautiful. Um, also, I've got a bedhead thing going on. So I'm just wearing the crown, doing it, and that's what's happening. So you can see there's like crazy stuff happening all over the place in this thing. I'm loving it. I'm not going to lie. I'm loving it very hard. Um, but also, Coachella speaking, I am like mad loving this brand called Valley Eyewear. Gypsy Warrior sent me these fabulous sunglasses. And if you don't know by now, I am a cat eye sunglass junkie. Like a junkie. Like I love them so hard. And these were like no no exception to the rule. These were probably the most unique cat eyes I've ever seen because if you're seeing up close, I do have a lot of acne going on. I don't have any makeup on other than lipstick, so like just disregard. Uh, that is due to my intestines right now. But anyway, nice cat eye thing happening right here, but instead of them being like more pointed or more triangular, which most are, not that I don't like that because I love that, these are very rounded, so you're getting like a round sunglass in a cat eye frame. I think it's just awesome. I think it's one of the coolest and most unique cat eye sunglasses I've ever seen. Um, from what I'm aware, these are actually sold out on Gypsy Warrior, so yay, I got them, and that's pretty amazing. You can order them directly from Valley Eyewear. Um, that is the brand, Valley. They're an Australian brand, and in my opinion, Aussies seem to do it better. Every time I find something I love and can't get enough of, it's another Aussie brand that is just like another amazing brand. Like One Teaspoon, Black Milk, Valley, I don't know. I love the Aussies. They just know what's up. They know how to do some fashion, okay? Let's just say that. Okay, so the thing I love about this is very similar to the Elizabeth and James eyewear cases. It's a... What is that word? It's magnetic. I was like metallic magnetic case. It has their logo on the inside. It is lined in velvet. They also come in a bag similar to my super glasses. Um, the thing I love, love, love about these glasses is that, and I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, but I believe it's Carl Zeiss. It has his lenses in it. I know my supers that everybody asks about all the time. These have the Carl Zeiss lenses in them as well. They're scratch resistant, they're anti-glare, they're amazing. Like you get the most clear, clear, clear vision with the Carl Zeiss lens. So how excited was I when I heard that these also had the Carl Zeiss vision? Um, they say it's optical quality, sharp vision, scratch resistant, stylish tints, 100% UV sun protection. I just, I mean, they're very clear. They're they're just wonderful. I have to say the one thing I'm absolutely loving about these is the faded gradient black situation. It's like darker to lighter. I've always wanted a pair of black sunglasses like that and haven't quite found the pair until now. Um, these retail, I might botch that, but I believe they retail at $180 or $178.95 depending on which website you shop at. I do wish Gypsy Warrior still had more so you guys could hop over there and purchase some. Um, they have some of the other glasses by Valley, but it was to my knowledge that they only had a limited quantity, uh, so that is why they sold out pretty quickly on this style. I think this one may be one of their most popular styles. It seems to be very popular on Instagram when I was looking at them because I was so excited 
about getting a pair of these sunglasses. <sighs> Apple cider vinegar water, people. Gotta start my day with it. I'm filming like super early today. I'm like busting crap out and getting things out of the way so that the rest of the day I can just relax. It's trying to be my goal these days is to get the important stuff out in the early half of the day so the latter half of the day I can just relax and try to help get my health into a better shape that it will progress in an upward trend instead of a downward spiral, which it has been in the past almost year. So I'm really trying hard to just get it right. Um, so yeah. These were really the two things I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you my outfit mainly because I feel very like boho chic and I feel like this is super Coachella-y of me. Um, one year, by the time, I don't know, maybe the next three years, I'd love to go to Coachella. So crossing my fingers that so maybe one year I can actually film from Coachella. Um, but I'm going to stand up and show you what I'm wearing. I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, I'm just going to do this then. So this top is one of my favorites. I've had this since last summer. My best friend got it for me. I don't even know the brand. Torn by Ronnie Kobo, I think that's what it says. It's probably totally not right, but it's called it's a brand called Torn. Um, I know this was not one of the cheapest shirts ever, but I have a Flamingo Obsession, and I had to have this. So, thankfully, she got this for me, and she lives in New York City, so she can shop at the stores that I used to shop at when I lived there. So, thankfully, she hooked me up with this fabulous little top here. Um, also, I tucked it in. It's a really, really big, big, big top. And this is an extra small. Mind you, it's huge for an extra small. Um, then I paired it with these, I think it's Zara Tara shorts. And these are, I don't know if you can see how shiny they really are, but they are very similar to the Black Milk Mermaid leggings, but they're in black, so they're really sequiny, shiny, awesome. I don't actually have shoes on right now, but if I were to pair them with something, I'd probably rock a clear jelly. I will do a review on these only because um, these are, what are these? BCBG? I don't know. I've had them for a while. I love them. and. I figured I'd do a great sandal video of my favorite pair, and these are up there with my favorites. So, this is my Coachella attire. Also, it's all about the arm candy here, so I've got bracelets that I make. I used to sell on my Etsy page. I do have a big sale on my Etsy page, so you can look me up. I think it's cupcakes, rings, and glittery things. I believe that's what it is. It could also be Tinkerbell. I don't know. I don't know. I should probably look that up and be like, let me, let me check that one out. And I'll, um, I'll share with you. I think it's cupcakes, rings, and glittery things. Anyway, so I have my Evil Eye Humsa bracelet that I wear all the time. I've got my Buddha Moonstone bracelet that I wear all the time. And then I have my just singular Evil Eye bracelet. It's... I don't know, I wear it all the time. And then I also have my skull bracelets that I also make on my Etsy page. Lots of stuff happening there. Then I've got my quartz mala that my best friend who got me this also got me last year. My watch. And then I've got my Alexander McQueen skull bracelet here. And then some pink jam happening, you know, from J. Crew from God knows how many years ago. And then I have a Forever 21 little piece here because this happens to be one of my all time favorites. And my shop is Glittery Things. So you could check me out on Etsy. Glittery Things is the shop name. I have some items that I featured in my sale video on there. Um, if you spend $100 on my shop, you can use coupon code INSTA10 and you can get $10 off. Yeah, so that's what I gotta say today. I don't have a lot going on. I don't have a lot to talk about. I just figured I'd do the festival look. I'm probably going to, oh, and I've got some ring candy happening. I've got my Melody Ashani, some Forever 21, some brand that I have no idea. I just really liked it, and then, yeah. So yeah, um, that's what I have going on here. 
I'm not going to Coachella, so all of you who are going, yay, I'm super jealous. And what else, what else? I'm probably going to do a couple videos this morning so I can bust them out. I have so much to show you. I have not vlogged at all this week. I really haven't felt good, so I'm so backlogged. I've gotten some amazing new skincare sent to me. Um, I'm still in the process of trying it out. So I actually had a video that was supposed to go out last Friday, but I've refrained the video. I'm going to refilm that video in conjunction with my new skincare line, or I might do one one day and one the next day so I can talk about both. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, that's why I haven't posted it, but I did want to do it in conjunction somehow with the new skincare line that I've been trying out. It is all vegan, it is organic, it is natural, it's paraben free, it's made from the sea, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. If you're looking for new skincare, it's not cheap, but it's amazing. The mask that I will be featuring, however, is completely reasonable and wonderful. I absolutely love it. So I really, I can't wait to share some of these products with you. Um, I also have a Beetlejuice Gothy thing happening. I'm really excited to show that one to you as well. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the clear sandal review. I have some stuff coming in. Um, clear, what is it? Clear jelly sandals, okay, guys. Jelly sandals is like the thing for me. Like jelly shoes, I don't, I don't know. Melissa, that brand, I am obsessed with her brand. She did a collaboration with Forever Twenty One. God help your wallets. It's actually not. It's way cheaper than her actual line, but God help your wallets if you want more than one pair. Um, they just got launched this week on Forever Twenty One dot com. They should be showing up in stores next Friday. I think is the date. So. Yes. Pretty exciting stuff coming up. Um, I feel like I'm missing a couple things, but whatever. Next week, there will be a full week of videos, I promise. This week, it's just been one of those weeks that I need a break. I need a break from everything, and I needed it, and it was well-deserved. So I took it, but I did want to at least get to you one day and just tell you I'm alive. Videos are coming. Stay tuned. Okay, so yeah, that's it for real this time. Um, please follow my blog. It is launching May 1st. May 1st. The vegan vixen blog .blogspot .com. I'm still having trouble trying to get the vegan vixen blog .com to get up and running for some reason. Even though I purchased the domain, it's not linking. God help me. It'll be like next year before that happens. So the vegan vixen blog dot blogspot dot com that is starting up on May first. You can follow my Instagram at the vegan vixen. You can tumble with me at the vegan vixen blog. I have changed it. It looks like you're gonna have like a coronary because of the background, but I just liked it for right now. And you can tweet me at glittery things. I never oh, glittery things underscore. I never really tweet. I just filter my pictures through Instagram. So don't expect a ton happening from me via Instagram or via Twitter. But yes, that's really all I have to say right now. For real, I promise I'm going to go. I'm a rambling fool today. Hopefully the next like three videos that I film aren't going to be a rambling fool. But if they are, my apologies. Bye guys, I love you.